Hi guys, it's uh, just gone 8 o'clock at night. It's Wednesday evening. And uh, I think I put that tree up Monday, I can't remember. <laughs> it was either yesterday or Monday. That's done. I've got most of my lights up. I've got a few ceiling decks in that box. I might stick those up at some point. Um, I've had quite a productive day. I've actually got two bikes up for sale at the moment. Uh, and one that you probably... Oh, I've got a message request. What's that? So you don't see it in there. I did select it. Oh, I'll well, look at that in a minute. Um, I'm selling the Claude Butler hybrid and I'll explain why and I'm actually getting lots of people um, reply to that one got someone here that's a horse here two there one at Within two minutes of each other, that might be a phone glitch if he's replying with a phone. But, uh, I will just go through everyone else's supplies and say it's sold, subject to collection tomorrow afternoon. I've just got to go downstairs, um, service the rear gear cable. Although it worked perfectly fine when I rode it earlier, so. But I think. Um, <clears throat> Removing the gear cable, cleaning it, oiling it and putting it back should fix the problem it's having. So I can do that tomorrow, take the lights off, the rest of it is going, including the saddlebags. The reason being, I actually feel like a change of bike. Because I love the bike, but I've get, gotten bored of it. So, I fixed this one up today. Um, set the front brake up. Sorted the rear brake, changed the brake cable for a nice clean shiny one. A nice clean shiny brake noodle on the back here. Replaced the brake blocks because they were pretty worn. Uh, <clears throat> stuck the cover on the gear shifter. New um, rear gear cable outers here and inner. Because in short, the old one, the cable was sticking in the back or the last section of outer there on the frame and uh, that was down to the cable because it was the cable was so it was soaking wet when I pulled it out because obviously if you leave a bike in the rain especially one like this the water runs down there and it gets in here and then of course it'll get trapped in there and uh, it just rusts the cable and it washes all the dirt and grime into it as well and that's what causes the issues that's sorted now. The rear derailleur was also just literally caked in crap. So I've sorted that out. It's fully functioning. At least the gears functioned perfectly when it was upside down up here. When I take it for a ride, that might be something else. <laughs> Anyone that's fixed bikes will probably know what I'm talking about. They'll work perfectly fine like this, but not when you actually take them for a ride. I have no idea why. Well, anyway, I've got the baggage rack that came off the Saracen on this one. Um, I've just got to adjust it. And these, these adjuster bolts need to be undone and this bit just slid forwards a bit. Because um, I was going to do this one up as like the winter go to the shops bike because of the tyres and whatnot. But uh, I figured why bother doing that? Well, I could just set this one up with a set of new saddlebags as well, because they're cheap enough. And uh, just use this one all year round. You know, have a nice bike for that job. So, I am. And I'm going to treat it to a nice rear lamp that bolts straight on these brackets. And that doubles up as a rear reflector as well. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. They're not that cheap in Roy's, but... Um, 
worth it because they are pretty visible and I will find a way to add extra lights to the bike. Fix them to the saddlebags if I have to. So yeah, I just decided I'll keep this one. And uh, the only other thing I've been up to today is, uh, well, I've had a change around on here. All the laptops are in there, nicely stacked up. Um, I've got a Windows Vista one that I'm going to stick on eBay as spares or repairs because I'm never going to fix it, can't be bothered with it. I think I've stolen the hard drive out of it now for other laptops so I'll go up spares or repairs. Same as Mum's old Toshiba laptop. Um, I might do that tomorrow. So I'm still sorting lamps out. I've got another use for these shelves. I don't think many people that watch me would be interested in what's going on in those shelves anyway, but <clears throat> I have got a use for them. But uh, the laptops, they were just collecting a shitload of dust on there and dust was getting in the keyboard, so I thought I'd just pack them away in there and they're safe, they're not going to get full of crap and everything. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the bolts out of those, I wonder if I can just, uh, uh, I haven't got nowhere to stand you in here apart from on the top shelf. Why is the tripod like that? Oh, because I hadn't pulled that leg out, All right, that'll do. So at least I can stand here, you can see me. And take these bolts out of the traffy lamp ears because they will stack closer together. Even though all four are the same on the outside, They've got, um, the difference is this bit, because they come as, you know, with a photo cell, so they come on at night, go off in the daylight, uh, no photo cell, and then you've got the um, flash or steady burn option as well. So, uh, the companies that bought these had all those options. You might, if you're lucky, find some of these that had British Gas written on them. Because these were a favourite of British Gas as well back in the day. But, uh, if you've got one with a British Gas sticker on it, that's a rare one. And that's an early one as well. I think ones like this one um, relative, or would be a lot newer. I've just got to remember that on some of these, the circuits have fallen all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Apart from this one. This one actually grips it because the, um, I don't know if you can actually see that, but uh, it's bent inwards. It's a bit of a bitch to put batteries in, but uh, it does mean the circuit doesn't drop out of it. It's just two more dormer lamps I want to put on there. I've just got to get to them. I believe it's that one and this one. I think when I put a battery in that one last time it wasn't working. So, I'm just going to look around and double check. Yeah. Apart from the horrible cone lights, I really don't like them. Um, I think that is it. So, this is the next one. Ah. 
show you a trick to get these um, JSP bolts off. If I can find it. Sure, I just swept it on the floor earlier. Right, no, I didn't. So, what you do, if you haven't got a key for these JSP lights, or the key to this. There's a certain YouTuber that I sent one of these to that may be interested to know this trick. Just use a flathead screwdriver and you can turn the bolt. You don't actually need the key. <laughs> Bit of a design flaw on JSP's part but it's also handy because if you lose the key, like I have, I've got about three of them somewhere. Somewhere in this crap hole, hole I call a flat. Here we go. Helps if the base was actually pushed on correctly. But yeah. Little cheat, just use a flathead screwdriver. Want a mm, fairly large tipped one. Obviously, if it's too small, it's not going to. Turn. And if it's too big, um, too big, it won't fit in. Oops. So there's the first JS <laughs> lamp. I've got a better idea. I'm gonna move you up there. I'm slide that along, and I'm going to grab the other lamps. Actually, I'm not. Some light bulbs down here, get any bloody way on a bike. Bike, probably take that down tomorrow afternoon, take it for a test ride, tune up, blah blah blah. And that mudguard's gonna rattle against the bloody bag of drag now, isn't it? Yay! Right. So that's one. That is in the best condition, that one. In fact, it almost looks like it's new. That's why that one's up on the shelf. Right, so that's three, technically three different maxi lights. See? We've got very good light up here, have we? Hmm. I may just knock that middle lamp up a bit because I think it's pointing down at the floor too much. Yeah, it is. Is there anything I can just tap that up with? That's a bit better. <laughs> I've actually now got a dark spot in the middle of the room. But... Uh, We've got a bit more light up here. I can always knock it down again if I want to. It's not, not a problem. Right. Put my plasti flash up here as well. Uh, right. Now I've got a choice to make. I've got a maxi light. Light on the floor here. Go back down to the shed. I don't need that one up here. Yeah, as I've said before, me and my infinite wisdom when I really decided to start collecting these. Yeah, I don't know, four or five years ago now? Maybe even six years ago, I can't remember. I bought a box of ten of those for ten pounds, so basically a pound each. From a um, seller on eBay that was selling X plant hire stuff. Do I take those down that are hanging up there? Or do I put different lamps up there? Because I've got room. 
for about four more lamps. Maybe even a bit more if I take that bolt out. And actually, if I swap these round, so this one with the scaffold bracket is here. That bracket can go into that gap. There we go. That gives us a bit more room. I wonder why the plastic flash has got a different bolt on it. And yet the steel flash has got the standard JSP bolt. Ah, that's a bit better. I might get about five on there now. No, that bolt's sticking out of there. Right, I'll take the bolts off then. I didn't have a drawer or something on here that I could uh, put my bolts on. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could possibly get the rest of my JSP lamps over there, like those ones, or even lined up across the bottom there. So, I could actually end up with most of my lamps in one place. <laughs> hmm. This one. I wouldn't mind getting the red version and the blue version of this Tildon. I know the electric company back in the day used to use those. And I've got two because I've got another one up on the shelf behind me. Uh, the Renix one. If I can squeeze four on here with these bolts stuck in them, I think that'll do. Which I think I'll be able to do. Uh, decisions, decisions. So I really want to leave most of those up there. Still haven't got around to putting my base on this one yet. Ooh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. <laughs> I can't. Huh. Yeah, it won't be if I take two a bolt out of this one and that one. But then again, if I do this, I don't have to take the bolt out of that one. <laughs> Problem solved. Right, so this is this one. The Pyramid Lamp. Will it go in that gap? Well, it will like that. <laughs> that would be quite a tight squeeze. And, uh, Looking at this, there ain't no other. I couldn't make any more room up there, even if I tried. Oh well, I'll just stand it up like that. That'll do. Right, I'm gonna call it quits for the video then. So thanks for watching. I'll go get this up. Uh, sorry, I'm not doing much else. That's all sorted. So I'll talk to you all later then. Bye.